Hey guys, welcome back to Low Luxury, the channel where I usually show you what authentic luxury clothing and streetwear looks like. But today we're gonna be doing something a little bit different. I don't know if you guys ever watched Monty Python, but they had this movie that I used to watch all the time back in the day as a kid, which probably was totally, totally inappropriate for me, but it was called, and now for something completely different. Well, this isn't completely different. It's still within the wheelhouse, but it's also something we have never done on this channel before. So I've got this box here. And what does that say? Oh, it's upside down. Maybe I shouldn't have it upside down. Well, what does that say there? Reese Cooper. Who, who the heck is Reese Cooper? That's just a joke. I'm sure many of you have heard of Reese Cooper. He is a kind of like luxury streetwear designer, kind of self-made a sort of success story from the underground of streetwear DIY style, very well-respected designer. But we've got this box from him, and inside here is not the normal type of piece we'd normally get because this is a DIY kit for creating like a corduroy chore jacket. Yeah, so as you can see here, RCI DIY Chore Coat Kit. These are the care instructions, not too important right now, but we've got a whole like how-to booklet here and it's got every single step of the way. So all they give you, they've got like snaps, rulers, and then just like the fabric here. You know, probably can't see it. This is just raw fabric and we've got to make this thing. And here's the thing. Um, I've never done anything like this before. I've taught myself very crudely just how to kind of stitch a couple pieces of fabric together, but I've not gotten any further than that. So this is really kind of a test of how DIY is it? Can I pull something like this off? I have no idea. I have low confidence, but I am also an optimist, so I do have some hope. So let's see how this goes. But first, I've looked into it, and a very, very small percentage of you are actually subscribed to the channel. It's completely free. You just press that button, and you will not regret it. Thank you so much. All right, let's open up this little instructional booklet and see what we got. I mean, as they say, you got to start somewhere, right? So, how to make a chore coat. Eventually, maybe, I hope, we'll end up with something that looks like this. As I said, uh, I'm not confident, but I am at the same time. So... All right, page one. What am I looking at? Reporting from Los Angeles, California, 9.05 p.m. April 15th, the day after my birthday. This is a book I made on how to create the simplest jacket I could. And simplest is in quotes there. I have a feeling this isn't going to be simple for someone with zero experience like me. Um, I made this as a way to re-spark my curiosity. Curiosity? What am I? I can't read. Respark my curiosity that got me into fashion in the first place. Now it's our turn together. Wild times, new ideas. Right now, this is just some paper and fabric. But after around 40 steps, 40, oh god, I'm scared. Or magic. I prefer the magic, personally, but I'm guessing we'll have to do the steps. This will be something for you to be proud of. I certainly hope so. Thank you for participating. Reese, you are welcome, Reese. Before we start, it's important you know... You know line to be, I'm guessing you know the line. This is handwritten, you know, very personal. You know the line to be following when cutting. The pattern included has lines for small, medium, large, extra large. Uh, we are going to be making a small, I believe. I hope, I hope that's the right size. I guess we'll see. The pattern pieces will look like this in the middle, okay? RCI chore coat, front, right, and single, small, medium, large, extra large, okay? S will be the smallest shape. This will be the closest line to the middle. Okay, got it. XL being the furthest. Cool. It can be a little tricky in the curves when cutting. To make it easier on yourself, highlight the line you'll be following before you start. This will help be a clear guide to make sure you stay on track when cutting your size. Highlighter. Check. All right, so I guess let's do that. Okay, so here's our pattern paper. It's, I can't even find a space big enough to flatten them out, but let's do some highlighting. All right, here's the back. So the innermost will be the small, right? I guess I'll start there. I <laughs> can't highlight. Oh God, I'm trying to like do this wall on camera as well. This is bad. All 
All right, so I think I have all of the main parts of the coat highlighted, like the front and back and the sleeves and stuff. And already it is actually giving me a kind of interesting appreciation for certain things when it comes to sizing. Because sometimes, you know, not knowing much about this stuff, I ask myself, what really is the difference between a small, medium, large, so on and so forth? And now I can kind of start to see construction-wise what that difference is physically. So that's pretty cool. Okay, step one, it begins, oh Lord. Fold your fabric in half lengthwise so that the edges of the fabric line up perfectly. Lengthwise, okay, that makes sense. So I'm guessing the lines are kind of going down vertically because it is like corduroy, as you'll see in a second. We fold it in half. Okay, I can do that. All right, so there's our fabric and it was actually already folded in half lengthwise. Thank you very much. Nice little corduroy there. So that stuff's done. Step one, super easy, nice. If only they were all that easy. I'm assuming they won't be. Two, cut out all the pattern pieces provided and separate out the two collar pieces, the smaller pocket and the rectangular interior pocket. Okay. All right, I've already started and I feel like I should be doing this with like a GoPro on my head because holding a camera with one hand and then cutting with the other ain't cutting it and I don't uh, have a tripod right now. This is low budget, you guys, DIY. You saw on the cover of the instructions, it's supposed to be DIY, right? Anyway, back to it. All right, we have got the collars, one, two collars, and the pockets here. And you know what? It, uh, it wasn't as hard as I was expecting. I did learn to uh, color in between the lines just a couple of years back. So I think uh, it, was, it was pretty straightforward to handle. I've got some experience with it. So let's hope they're all that easy. Three, place your remaining pattern pieces, front, back, hand pocket, hand pocket, and sleeves on the folded fabric. Okay, so am I supposed to cut those out though? Um, Align the arrow on the pattern piece so that it runs parallel with the edge of the fabric. And use your ruler to make sure that the top of the arrow and the bottom at the of the arrow are the same distance from the edge. Okay, that makes sense. But it never said to cut those out. Cut out the pattern piece provided and separate out. Oh, I see. Um, I guess that makes sense. Okay. So I've got more cutting to do. <laughs> All right. So before I actually started cutting the body, I started getting like really concerned because I was following the lines. I was like, wait, is this right? Is that right? So uh, I talked to my girlfriend because that's what I do when I can't figure stuff out. And she big brained me and kind of followed the lines with me. And I actually think that sometimes to say with the small, it turns into the outermost line and goes there. And I guess I'd feel more comfortable anyway having more than less. I guess I can always cut down from there later. So I'm just going to go with that. The green now is what I'm going with. I'm glad I figured that out. If uh, if I'd messed that up and it ruined the whole jacket, I'd be really pissed. I actually did it. I cut everything I needed. So now we just gotta find out uh, what's next. I'm scared. Oh yeah, we already actually uh, read this. So we gotta place him down and make sure it's all right, measure it up. Once you have confirmed the placement, you can place a weight on the pattern piece. Okay, I'll have to find some weights. And then we would cut out these first four pattern pieces, make sure that you're cutting both layers of fabric at the same time. Whew, cutting time, okay. And we've got a cat on the fabric, something that every good sewing studio should have. One other thing I noticed was that on the fabric that they provided, there is this print here that I think is really cool. And it is on the outside of it, so I actually want to keep that. I want to make sure that ends up somewhere cool. So when I lay down the pattern pieces, I want to keep that in mind there. So I think this is how we're going to lay everything out. This right here is the front right, so that text will land right in here above this pocket here. And then we've got that other pocket that piece, I think that's a back down there, so on and so forth. Yeah, I, I think I got this figured out here. 
So what we've got to do now is make sure that everything lines up. We've got our ruler here, so we've got to make sure each one of these has a little like arrow on it. Yeah, there. And there's the other end. We've got to make sure that each of the bottom and top of these are the same distance from the edge of the fabric there. So let's do that. New scissors, because those weren't working. And that is what I like to call one down and one, two, three to go. Oh God. Two down, two to go. And yes, I did cheat by doing the easier one second to give myself a sense of progression. Three down and one to go. And also, uh, if you'll notice, I've got a new kitty assistant. I just didn't like the last one, so I threw her out of a window and got a new one. Moving on. So that is all four of them done, including this one that is under the cat, and I was able to keep that print nice and centered in there, so I'm uh, super happy with where we got. You know what? I thought that that was going to be terrifying, but it actually really wasn't as bad as I thought. I thought that I was going to be cutting into it and I was going to be so afraid of every cut of messing something up, but actually it was super easy. It was just more cutting stuff, which, you know, I can do. As I said, I can color between the lines, I can cut stuff, I'm, I'm a very talented man. Really the only part that I am scared of is whether or not I messed something up while I was cutting the patterns. And that's one of those things that I'm just not going to know until I start putting it together. And if it doesn't fit together right, then I'll know I made a mistake way back then and I won't have any fabric left and I probably won't really be able to fix it. So that is the scary part, but we won't know whether that will come to pass or not until quite a bit later down the road. So I guess we just gotta live with it for now. And we have a front pocket, yeah. And that is what I like to call an inside pocket. And that one was maybe the easiest of the bunch because I know I'm allowed to make it look like crap because it's on the inside and no one will ever see it except for me. That's not to say I just, I didn't do my best with it. I did do my best with it, but it was very low pressure on that one, which I, I like. And that's one part of the collar, and that's a skateboard because I'm a because I'm a cool guy and ripped up Adidas because I'm also a cool guy who, as you can see, skateboards. Anyway, that's a collar. And that is the other part of the collar, and that is every single piece of fabric cut. I can't believe we got through this, but we fucking did it. So now we got to see what's next. There are small lines on the edge of the pattern pieces. These are called notches. Make sure to cut into the fabric one quarter of an inch so that you can use the notches as guides when you're sewing later. Okay, so I definitely saw a bunch of these. Let's see if I can find some for you guys to show you. Okay, like right, uh, can you even see it? Let me mess with my lighting here. I'm a master of lighting and camera work, as you can see. Um, actually, I do camera like video stuff for a living, but that's kind of weird, right? Because then my videos would be higher quality, but no, I'm just lazy. Anyway, those are the notches he is speaking of, I believe. So we've got to cut in a quarter of an inch wherever we see those. So let's do it. All right, that is all of the notches done. I have to say I have zero clue what those are for or why I just put them in, but I did it. I'm following the steps. Okay, Reese, I'm doing everything you're telling me in order perfectly. It's probably not going to be perfect. I don't know. I'm just doing this, this stuff in the book, you know? All right, next up. Now that your pattern pieces are all cut out, you will need to mark the pocket placement. Find your front pattern piece and make a small hole with a pencil through all corners of the two exterior pockets. Do the same for the far two corners of the interior pocket. Okay, so that's on the paper itself, not the fabric, it sounds like. Let's do that. So I believe, if I'm not mistaken, so the front pockets, it's all four corners. So we've got a small, so that would be there. Okay, again, I have no clue what this is for, but I'm a good boy. I do as I'm told, so I made holes in the pattern paper. What now, Reesey boy? 
place the pattern piece on top of your cut panel and mark all four corners on the cut panel using the holes as a guide with a pencil. Flip the pattern piece and cut panel over to mark where the interior pocket goes as well. You'll use these markers to help place the pockets when you're sewing. Okay, let's do it. Yeah, none of my pencil marks showed up. Um, I don't know. I don't really know if I need to do this right now. I feel like I can do this later. I don't know. Um, sorry, Reese. I'm, I'm skipping a step, I guess. I, I feel like I can figure out the pocket placement later, I hope. Now it's time to begin sewing. All right, I'm not going any further. It's late. We started this when it was light out. Um, let's see. what. Not light out anymore. Oh, my God. You can see me. And there's my ring light. And you're getting the whole experience of what it's like to film these videos here. Oof, this window looks ratty. My apartment's really nice. It's it's not as bad as that window makes it look. I don't know. Anyway, so we're, we're not doing any sewing tonight. But I kind of just want to lay all these out and kind of see what our jacket's going to look like. You know, just put all the pieces out and get a vibe. So let's let's do it. And that, my friends, is our coat after one day of work. That's where we're at. I'm super, super happy about that print there. I think that's absolutely sick. Um, yeah, I'm pretty happy. I think it looks good. Oh, my God. If Reese Cooper ever watches this, um, he's probably going to be watching this like, it is not good, you fucking moron. What have you done to my kit? You've destroyed it. I don't know. I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. So... I'll I'll see you guys tomorrow I guess